Baltimore Game Day Uncensored. Sponsored by BrownsCar.com. 1057 The Fan. The Inactives. This is what you've been waiting for, Vinny. Inactives are Lamar Jackson, Patrick Ricard, Devin Duvernay, Ben Powers, Tyree Phillips, and Dalen Hayes was a bit of a surprise. So the Ravens have three outside linebackers. Jeff Rebeck says expect Malik Harrison to get some running outside linebacker today. Well, that that won't be – that'll be bad for pass coverage, you know. I, I think they finally, you know, come to the realization that everybody else did with Malik Harrison. He can play – he can go forward. He mm -hmm. can't go sideways or back. You know, I tell you what, the inactive list is a pretty good group. Yeah, I'm three Pro Bowlers. <laughs> yeah, three Pro Again, the inactives, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Ricard, Devin DuVernay, Ben Powers, Tyree Phillips, and Dalen Hayes. It is Baltimore Game Day Uncensored pregame. Let's uh, take a look at the injury report. Injury report is brought to you by Orthopedic Associates of Central Maryland. In pain, contact the experts at Orthopedic Associates of Central Maryland at mdbonedocs.com. Care this good feels good to the bone. Injury report. And joining us now, Dr. Scott Adams. And, and Dr. Adams, uh, Merry Christmas. Good afternoon. Thank you. Or good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And, and we'll start with the... The ankle situation with Lamar Jackson. First, it was allegedly a lower ankle sprain. Now it's a bone bruise. Your best guess. What do you think is going on with him? Yeah, good morning and Merry Christmas to you as well. I think it's probably both. I mean, you watch the mechanism of injury, and he clearly probably sprained the ligament. But then when that ankle rolls as much as it did, it caused the two bones uh, of the ankle to hit together. And so it caused the bone bruise. So in a way, it's probably a bit of semantics. I think you still treat this like a ankle sprain. And part of that is the bone bruise. The nice thing is the bone bruise is going to fully recover and not really be a a long-term issue the issue is going to be just getting his ankle stable again and getting the swelling down and getting him mobile and then whether it was a sprain or a bruise it's really not going to matter he should be able to get back out there doc how long do you think it because he hadn't practiced in two weeks so you know mm -hmm. i'm guessing that he hadn't been able to put a ton of pressure on it how long do you anticipate him still being out yeah, I think when you watch the play and the fact that he hasn't done much that we know of since the play, you know, I think this could easily be a four to six week uh, recovery process. You know, on the shorter side, hopefully he starts doing a little bit more uh, activity in the next week and then, you know, another week or two be ready to go. We all know, obviously, Lamar Jackson r relies on his ability to escape pressure and his agility. And so he's going to need to be far further along in his recovery than a quarterback that can just stay in the pocket. I mean, you take like a Tom Brady or a Peyton Manning when he was playing where they just sort of stand in the pocket. You don't have to be probably quite as far along in your recovery as someone like Lamar. So he's going to need to be just about fully over this injury and, you know, taping the ankle or wearing a brace can only do so much. So that's why I think this could take every bit of at least four weeks. Let's go to Patrick Ricard, who was limited in practice this week, but is not playing today. He's listed with a knee. What do you think's going on there? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those, if you're limited in practice and you're listed as questionable, it rules out a lot of the bad injuries that we think of with the knee. It makes me think that this is either like a low-grade MCL sprain or going back to the bone bruise concept, could he just have a, a bone bruise somewhere in the knee? And it's just a matter of getting the pain to go down enough that it's not preventing him from doing what he wants to do. But obviously all encouraging signs that the words used are limited and questionable rather than out and injury reserve, all those. So I think this is more of just a low-grade bruise, sprain, strain, and just once the symptoms are better, he should be ready to go. Doc, you know who I'm anxious to see? I'm anxious to see Macari because it's his left hand, it's his hand, and he's an offensive mm -hmm. tackle, you know, and you got to use your hand, you know, because you're you're coming out, you're punching, you're grabbing, you're doing a lot of things, and, and he's been limited most times in practice, which means the hand's probably not 100%. So how does he go about that one? Yeah, sure, good question, and it's going to come down to just what his sort of manual dexterity is going to be. You can try to wear braces and you can see these big like mitten casts 
that people wear, but it definitely affects your fine motor skills. And what he needs to figure out is when can he function the way he needs to to perform. Most of the hand injuries, if you can adequately brace them or splint them, you can, for the most part, protect the recovery or the injury but then the question is does it limit his ability to perform the way he needs to and you have to think those are the kind of things they're simulating in practice and if he's not ready to go then it's those minor like fine motor functions that he just lacks at the moment dr scott adams as always thank you so much for your time enjoy the game great thank you guys all right, Doc. Baltimore Game Day Uncensored pregame show. Ken Wyman, Vinny Serrato. We're live here at the Green Turtle in Hanover. When we come back, we will climb the depth chart. We'll go behind enemy lines, and we'll get that first look at the Cincinnati weather with meteorologist Vinny Serrato. It is Baltimore Game Day Uncensored. We're live at the Green Turtle in Hanover, and we're with you until 1 here on 105.7 The Fan. We are all on this planet together, so join Odyssey and find your one thing. This holiday season, invest in some LED Christmas lights. They use significantly less energy than regular bulbs. Join.